So here in New York City, a show of force by the NYPD. CBS 2's Brian Connie Bear is live now in Times Square. What that part of the story for us this evening, Brian? Uh, Christine, since 9 11, the NYPD says they have stopped 20 different terror plots here in the city, including the 2010 botched car bombing right here in Times Square. Tonight, police have deployed their full array of counterterrorism measures because of what happened in Brussels. Heavily armed counterterrorism teams now patrolling Times Square and across the city in the wake of the deadly terror attacks in Belgium, all in a coordinated effort to calm concerns here at home. I don't know if people have taken it as like more security, kind of like, oh, I'm kind of scared that they're here, but I don't see it like that. I think it's a good thing. I, I really do. More than 500 officers, many with military style assault rifles, are now deployed at key transportation hubs like Grand Central. Penn Station, the airports, and other landmarks as a deterrent. The National Guard also mobilized 400 troops around the city Tuesday, all for one simple reason. We are the number one terrorist target in this country and potentially in the world. Police Commissioner Bill Bratton joined Mayor de Blasio on a tour of the Times Square subway station to reassure people and outline the day's rapid response. All of these units were deployed literally between the time of the attack in Belgium and the beginning of the morning rush hour. The NYPD's deputy commissioner for counterterrorism wants everyone to know they're taking all possible precautions. We really spent the day using every tool in the counterterrorism toolkit, from radiation detectors to vapor wake dogs that can smell explosives moving through a crowd on a suicide bomber to our special weapons teams. Security measures have also been stepped up at the Belgian consulate over on 2nd Avenue, and people can expect to see these measures in place for the coming days, though police do confirm there is no specific credible terror threat against the city at this point. There is an ambulance going by right now here in Times Square. Reporting live, Brian Connie Bear, CBS 2 News. Brian, thank you.